This is a short overview of a type of adenocarcinoma of the salivary gland called mucoepidermoid carcinoma, also known as MEC. And these are the most common malignant salivary gland tumours in adults and children. And the most frequent age at which they occur is in the fifth decade. And mucoepidermoid carcinomas are slightly more frequent in females than males. Mucopodermoid carcinomas account for around 15% of salivary gland tumours and the gland most frequently affected is the parotid gland where approximately 45% of mucopodermoid carcinomas occur there. The next most common location is in the minor salivary glands such as the palate accounting for around 21% of mucoepidermoid carcinomas and the next most frequent site is the submandibular gland accounting for 8 to 13 percent. There is a continuum of malignancy with mucoepidermoid carcinomas ranging from low to intermediate to high grade tumours with around half of them being low grade and slightly less being high grade tumours. Although mucoepidermoid carcinomas are associated with a chromosomal translocation, there is also known to be an increased incidence following radiotherapy and in atomic bomb survivors. Grossly atypical mucoepidermoid carcinoma is around 8 cm across with a grey or white cut surface and there may be cysts containing mucin. Low-grade tumours tend to be well circumscribed and often contain cysts containing mucin, whereas the high-grade tumours have a more infiltrative margin with solid and necrotic areas. The term mucoepidermoid carcinoma gives a good clue as to what cell types are likely to be present, and these include squamous, mucinous, clear and intermediate cells that are present in cords, sheets and cysts. The low-grade tumours tend to be composed pre predominantly of mucinous cells whereas the high-grade tumours tend to have a greater proportion of squamous, intermediate and clear cells. Before moving on to the Images of mucoepidermoid carcinomas, it is worth pointing out that they can occur in a number of other sites including the nasal cavity, nasopharynx, sinuses, breast, bronchus, cervix and the skin. Here is a low power view of a mucoepidermoid carcinoma and you can see there are some solidish areas and some cystic areas. Here we can see cysts containing mucin. Here is an island of squamous cells. And these are intermediate cells. And here we are zooming in to some mucous cells. And to finish with, here are some more images of the histology from some mucoepidermoid carcinomas.